Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. After numerous days with highs in the 70s, we have now hit nine days this month with highs in the 70s or above. And it looks like that will be it for October 2022. Here's a look at the next seven days as we wrap up October and move into November. Highs tomorrow will be in the mid 50s. We'll see upper 50s to around 60 Thursday and Friday. And then a nice little warm up. Temperatures running 10 to 15 degrees above normal as we uh, hit Halloween and move into November. A week from today, 65 degrees. <laughs> That's pretty nice for early November, no doubt about it. Here's a look at the radar, still showing some scattered showers and pockets of rain covering much of southeastern and eastern Wisconsin. This activity will continue here as we head throughout the evening. Slowly but surely, this area of rain will shift off towards the east late tonight into tomorrow morning. We had a cold front obviously move through earlier today. Morning highs were pretty close to 70, but afternoon temperatures have been falling through the 50s and into the 40s. There's an area of low pressure actually riding north and east along that front this evening, and that's why we've got a lot of clouds out there and we're going to keep the threat for some showers in the forecast. Mid-afternoon temperatures only in the upper 40s to lower 50s here in the Fox Valley. Much colder across northern Minnesota, mid-30s this afternoon. That cold air is going to stay to our north. We're going to see this air mass start to work back in here as we head through the middle and end of the work week. Gusty winds, that has been the story here along with the warm temperatures as of late and tomorrow we will have northwest to west winds at times gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour. Obviously the winds have had their impact on the trees and peak color. Most areas are now looking at past peak conditions. However, from roughly the Fox Valley south and east, we are looking at peak to past peak. High temperatures tomorrow with lots of sunshine will make it up into the mid 50s, which is slightly above normal for this time of year. You can see sky cast shows a few lingering clouds during the morning and then mostly sunny skies as we head through the afternoon. We'll have dry conditions out there and it looks like that dry weather is going to hold for the foreseeable future once we get past tonight. So on and off showers this evening coming to an end during the early morning hours of Wednesday. We'll start to clear out towards daybreak. Overnight lows will be mainly in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Winds will start to pick up a bit to, uh, tomorrow morning as well and then we'll have gusty winds uh, for your Wednesday northwest at around 10 to 20 with some higher gusts. Few morning clouds and lots of sunshine. Temperatures will be seasonable for the most part in the lower to mid 50s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 55. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to St. Joseph Food Program. And we did that the last time I had to forecast. That was last week. I forecast a high of 56 and the actual high temperature was 57 degrees. 58 on Thursday, sunshine mixing with some clouds. 60 on Friday. Another great night for high school playoff football. We'll see lower 60s on Saturday. Beautiful. More clouds on Sunday. Highs in the lower 60s, about 10 degrees above normal. Halloween right now, not looking bad at all. More of a treat than a trick with highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s and a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And then once again, there's November 1st. Lots of sunshine with highs in the mid 60s.